Hello everyone, and in this episode, there will be a surprise at the end. That's why you can see me, okay? But today, the main thing we're going to do today is we're going to look at the Apple Bluetooth wireless mouse. Not the Mighty Mouse, it's the original mouse that sort of looks like this, except it's wireless. Okay? Got this in the mail the other day. While I was at the St. Louis Zoo, I had a good time, if you want to know. I don't want to know, but anyway, I've crossed out my address so that stalkers don't stalk me because stalkers are creepy. And so, here is the package. And I've already used the Bluetooth mouse. I was too excited, and it was like midnight whenever I got home and I used it. So, this is just a remake of an unboxing and setting up of the Apple wireless mouse. Okay? So, you just pop open the box. Got this on eBay for 30 bucks. You can see that here is the packing. It was very well wrapped in bubble wrap and um, packing peanuts. And so we will just get done to unwrapping it, throw the other stuff in there, and here it is. In a side by side comparison with the Apple wired mouse. They're pretty much, they're the exact same size, um, they both have little grips here, they both have optical tracking, it isn't on because I don't have the batteries in it yet, this one uses batteries, this one uses the USB, um, this one's sort of clear there, this one is not because this is just a logic board and this has a whole bunch of stuff in it. Okay, fair enough. So here I have the mouse, it does work with Bluetooth. Um, Mac compatible with 10.3.9 and above, I believe. And here I just have two AA batteries, so we're just going to pop open the back of this. Possibly. Oh, there we go. There's the back, there's the insides of it. Pop in battery one, pop in battery two. Just going to put the case back on. And here is the mouse. It's a lot heavier than the wired mouse it's got batteries and all the fun stuff in it, okay? So, as you see this slider, it turns it on and off, and that's how you can save battery if you're on the road, okay? And since I have an eMac and I don't have an internal Bluetooth airport card, I bought this micro USB Bluetooth adapter. I had originally bought it for my PC, but it turns out it doesn't really like the PC all that much. It works great with my eMac and my iMac over there. Okay, so we're just going to plug this into the side of the keyboard, and I've already set it up and everything, so my Mac recognizes it and it says it has Bluetooth. So, next thing we do is we go over to the eMac. There's a nice little Apple logo. Let's pick up the camera, and here we are. We're on the eMac now. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the System Preferences, going to go to the Bluetooth button, and then we're going to click Plus to add another one. Welcome to the Bluetooth Step Assistant, and then click Continue, and since it's a mouse, I can, cl I can click on Mouse. It will search for it. While it's searching, you have to turn it on by sliding this down. You'll know it's on whenever you have that on it, okay? You'll see a mouse pop up. It may or may not include your username. And then all you have to do is click continue. It will pair with your Bluetooth mouse. Connection established. After it's done pairing with it, After it's done pairing with it, let me try this again. Oops. Okay, should be recognizing it. Connection established. There we go. Congratulations, your computer is now set up to use your Bluetooth mouse. Now, with the Bluetooth mouse, we can actually move it already. Can I hit quit? And now you can see I have my mouse here, 
and I have my cell phone here. So, now that we have that done, we can unplug my wired mouse, put it aside for any other Macs that I might get without a mouse, and here's my little wireless, my Bluetooth. It's very tiny, and I'm going to move it to the other side of the keyboard if possible. It doesn't like to come out very easily. There we go. This is the Apple Pro keyboard, that's why the ports are on the sides instead of on the front side of it. I have an Apple Pro keyboard, it's just very yellow, and I've washed it, well not washed it, but I've cleaned it and nothing really happened. So I have my Bluetooth back in, and the icon you see there means it's connected. If it wasn't connected, it would just have the Bluetooth symbol, and then you can see we're connected to it and we can move it, and it works just perfectly fine. So there is the Apple Bluetooth mouse on my eMac. I've also set it up to work with my iMac over here. And so yeah, it works perfectly fine. I've even got to work with my PC once in Vista, which is very amazing. Right now, I just upgraded to Windows 7 build 7100 which is the release candidate. I upgraded from the beta, so it's still installing my graphics drivers and everything, so we'll get back to that later in another video, possibly. Okay, so, um, that's it. We will close that window, and you know how I said I would give you a special treat this time. Okay? Before I give you the special treat, I will tell you a little bit about my shirt, which is not a very interesting shirt. It is a basic shirt. No, this is not Texas. It's a whole bunch of music symbols. This is my District 4 Fest Concert Festival um, shirt from this year. I went to District. has my name on the sleeve and on the back with all the other names. And District's really fun. You get to go there early in the morning and practice singing with the whole group. Go eat lunch, come back, practice again. And at like 3 o'clock, you perform for a whole bunch of people. So. Here is the real treat. I have been pushed into this um, really strongly very recently, especially by someone who goes by the name on YouTube of Lazy Lazy Loop. Just click the annotation like right here and you'll get him. He is the main reason why I'm doing this. So if you don't like these, blame him. If you do like them, blame him. Here we go. Are you ready? And there's my head. Okay. Pretty cool. I don't know. Ow. But anyway, this is me. I've had plenty of people ask. I'm finally doing it. I do have glasses. Yes, I've had glasses since second grade. Okay, so enough about me. This is my Bluetooth mouse. Very bright. I enjoy the Bluetooth mouse. And that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, my next episode will probably be about Windows 7 since I have the release candidate now. Windows 7, in my opinion, much better than Vista. I give it an A+. So, I'll see you next time.